Hi everyone and welcome to the Eva channel. My name is Marwa, aka Miss English Teacher. In today's video, I am inviting you to read with me an adaptation of To Kill a Mockingbird. There's also a Hollywood movie based on this novel. Have you seen it? Let us know in the comment section below. So, first I am going to read a paragraph, then I will ask you a couple of comprehension questions. Let's get started. And of course, before we do, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. At Christmas, we received a visit from Uncle Jack. Then all of us went to visit Aunt Alexandra on the farm. We didn't get on too well with Aunt Alexandra. She wanted me to wear dresses and be a lady, which was awful. Moreover, her grandson Francis was the most boring boy I have ever met. Are the following statements true or false? The character does not like her aunt. It's true. Aunt Alexandra wanted her son to wear dresses. She wanted the main character to wear dresses, not her son. Her son was a very boring boy. False. Her grandson, not her son. Let's continue. Brothers and sisters. We need to collect money for Tom Robinson's wife. She lost her job because of Tom's troubles. Everybody gave the priest some money. Gem and I wanted to help too. So we gave him several dimes. When we returned home, we saw Aunt Alexandra sitting in the yard. Children, I'm going to stay with you for some time, she told us. John Louis needs a female role model. I'll teach her how to be a lady. I didn't want to be a lady, but nobody was interested in my opinion. Now, can you answer the following questions? Why were they collecting money for Tom's wife? Because she lost her job. Good. Next, what was Aunt Alexandra going to teach the girl? How to be a lady. Did the girl want to learn to be a lady? No, she didn't. Okay, next paragraph. Bob Ebel stopped your father in the street and spat in his face. He said, if this case destroys my life, I am going to kill you. Bob Ebel's behavior didn't worry father too much. Soon he will stop being angry. His words aren't serious, father told us. Okay, let's choose the right picture. What does spat mean in the phrase spat in his face? Good, it's the first one. Now, did her father get upset about it? Yes, he was. Not really. The correct answer is not really. 
Okay, next paragraph. Suddenly, I saw the shadow of a man in a hat. Dill and Jem saw it too. They covered their heads with their hands and stood still. The shadow went out of the house, looked around, and then returned inside. When it disappeared, we made our way through the yard under the fence. Then I heard someone fire a gun. We climbed from under the fence and ran away. Suddenly, we noticed that Jem wasn't with us. His pants got caught on the fence and he couldn't get them out. So he left them there and ran towards us. Are the following statements true or false? They saw a man in a hat. False. They saw his shadow. Someone fired a gun. It's true. Jem ran to them with no pants on. It's true. Let's continue. Next paragraph. The person was running toward us. Run, Scout, run! shouted Jem. I tried to run, but my costume was too heavy. I fell onto the ground. I felt something pull at my clothes. Then I heard the sound of metal. Jem was fighting someone. Then there was a crack and a long shout. Put the events in the right order. Scout and Jem ran. Jem was fighting someone. The sound of metal. There was a long shout. Someone ran to them. Scout fell down. So, let's see if you get it right. This is the correct order. Someone ran to them. Scout and Jem ran. Scout fell down. The sound of metal. Jem was fighting someone. That was a long shout. All right, that's it for today's video. If you would like to continue reading the whole book, just use the link in the description and get the Eva app. You can see the translation of new words, add them to the cards, and play the memory game later. The book is suitable for A2 level, but there are many more adaptations of famous world bestsellers for different levels. So go ahead, get the Eva app and use it for free for six months. In my next video, I am inviting you to test your listening skills with Jennifer Lawrence. So just go ahead, click here.